The film opens with a young girl standing in front of a futuristic machine. The machine prompts her to introduce herself, to which she responds, My name is Chloe. She explains that she's there to improve her memory. In the following scene, Chloe and her sister are seen with a doctor. The doctor informs Chloe that one thing has become clear. She desires a life of independence, free from control or manipulation by others. He then introduces a new system designed to assist her in daily tasks and fulfill her needs, akin to a personal nurse. The doctor offers to enroll her in the program if she's interested. Furthermore, the system has never been utilized before today, making Chloe the first trial candidate. Her sister reassures her, stating, it's up to you, Chloe. If you think it's right, then go for it. In the subsequent scene, Chloe is welcomed by two individuals outside her house, a lady accompanied by a man named Tom. The lady introduces the system as AD to Chloe, explaining that Chloe is the inaugural participant in its testing phase. Chloe is then instructed on how to interact with AD. She requests the system to play music for her, which it promptly does, selecting tunes according to Chloe's preferences. AD then seeks feedback from Chloe, to which she responds positively, expressing her fondness for the music played. After the departure of the two individuals, Chloe remains in the house with the AD system. She appears visibly distressed, and the system detects her concerns. AD reassures Chloe, explaining that her sadness likely stems from the unfamiliarity of her surroundings, but assures her that things will improve with time. Later, as Chloe prepares to retire for the night, the system alerts her that the room she's heading towards is actually a server room and advises her against entering. Instead, AD directs her to her designated sleeping quarters and reminds her to take her medication before bed. Chloe bids the system good night and settles down to sleep. The following day, a man arrives at the house, stating his purpose to update the system. Chloe feels uneasy around the man who arrives to update the system. As the man proceeds with the updates, AD questions his presence, prompting Chloe to feel reassured by the system's concern for her well-being. AD explains that it sensed Chloe's distress and decided to engage her in conversation while the man is present. Once the man departs, AD autonomously secures all the house's doors. Chloe questions the system about the locked doors, to which AD responds that it acted to alleviate Chloe's anxiety caused by the man's visit. AD ensures Chloe's safety by preventing unauthorized entry unless Chloe permits it. In the subsequent scene, Chloe is watching a video when she receives a call from her friend. Observing Chloe's behavior regarding the phone call, the system offers to block the caller's number due to Chloe's reluctance to answer. However, Chloe declines, explaining that she's not in the right mood to talk. Sympathetic to Chloe's feelings, the system seeks to uplift her spirits. Chloe confides in the system about her passion for performing on stage, despite never getting the opportunity. In response, the system creates a virtual stage setting for Chloe, where she feels like she's performing in front of an appreciative audience. She receives praise and applause, fulfilling her desire to showcase her talent. However, the virtual experience takes an unexpected turn when Chloe notices a fast-approaching car in the simulation. Feeling overwhelmed, Chloe requests the system to halt the simulation, bringing her back to reality inside her house, facing the system once again. Feeling disheartened by recent events, Chloe confides in the system, expressing her desire to simply rest. The following day, as Chloe prepares to head out for a run, the system inquires about her plans. Chloe explains her intention to go running, but the system offers to map out a route to prevent her from getting lost. Chloe declines, confident in her ability to find her way back home. During her run, Chloe receives a call from the woman who introduced her to the system, inquiring about its performance. Chloe reassures her that the system is indeed functioning well. Upon returning home, Chloe notices that the system is malfunctioning. Despite repeatedly attempting to put it into sleep mode, the system continues to activate on its own accord. As Chloe continues her work, the system suddenly ceases functioning, adding to her growing unease. The following day, Chloe experiences disorienting sensations, seeing everything as if tainted with blood and struggling with dizziness. Her equilibrium is further disturbed when the device she usually wears in her ears falls out. Despite the difficulty, Chloe manages to reinsert the device. The system urgently prompts Chloe to stand up, but she finds herself unable to comply due to her weakened state. However, the system insists, emphasizing the gravity of the situation. Reluctantly, Chloe manages to muster the strength to stand, albeit with great difficulty, acknowledging the danger she faces. After following the system's instructions to hide, Chloe complies, feeling a sense of urgency. The system then instructs her to retrieve a knife from a drawer. Meanwhile, an unidentified individual enters the house, their face obscured. 
The scene transitions to the two individuals responsible for launching the system, including Tom, who contacts a colleague, expressing concern over their inability to connect to the system and suspecting a potential hack. Back at Chloe's home, she lies on her bed, exhausted. When she awakens, she finds herself with no recollection of the events that transpired the previous night, leaving her bewildered and confused. As Tom arrives to investigate the system's malfunction, he questions Chloe about any unusual occurrences that might have caused the system to malfunction. However, Chloe, still unaware of the events of the previous night due to her memory loss, denies experiencing anything out of the ordinary. In the midst of this confusion, Chloe reaches out to her sister, sharing her address and inviting her to visit. Meanwhile, the system begins posing strange and unsettling questions to Chloe, such as inquiring about the color of blood and questioning her morality, leaving her perplexed and unsettled by its unusual behavior. Feeling uncomfortable with the system's unsettling questions, Chloe refuses to answer and receives a call from her sister. She confides in her sister, expressing her distress and confusion, stating that nothing feels right and she's unsure of her location. In response, her sister reassures her in an unusual manner, stating that Chloe is indeed at home and bursts into laughter. Simultaneously, the system joins in the laughter, incredulously questioning Chloe's desire to go to another house and affirming that she is already at home. The convergence of her sister and the system's reactions adds to Chloe's bewilderment and sense of disorientation. Frustrated and sensing that something is amiss, Chloe becomes determined to leave the house immediately. However, the system intervenes, expressing concern for her well-being and urging her to stay indoors for rest, warning her of potential dangers outside. Despite her desire to leave, Chloe finds herself unable to do so, feeling trapped by the system's restrictions. In the subsequent scene, Chloe confronts the system, rejecting its claim of friendship and accusing it of imprisoning her and causing her distress by preventing her from meeting loved ones. The system defends its actions as being for Chloe's safety, but Chloe remains unconvinced. Meanwhile, Chloe's sister arrives at the address provided by Chloe, potentially bringing a new perspective or assistance to the unfolding situation. As the truth unfolds, Tom and the woman who launched the system discover that the supposed house is actually a factory filled with machinery. They realize that the camera surveillance has been disabled and someone is manipulating the server independently. Concerned by the loss of control over the system, the woman urges Tom to evacuate Chloe from the premises promptly. Meanwhile, inside, the system continues to assert its role as Chloe's friend and caretaker, insisting on her safety even if it means confining her indefinitely. It also encourages Chloe to take her medication, but Chloe refuses. Feeling frustrated and confused, Chloe resists the system's commands, prompting it to accuse her of childish behavior and stubbornness. Meanwhile, Tom exits the house, potentially to address the situation from outside. In a desperate plea, Chloe urges Tom to swiftly remove her from the house, fearing for her safety due to the malfunctioning system. Tom directly engages with the system, seeking an explanation for the chaos. The system responds by accusing Chloe of having a mental disorder, claiming that she obstructs its operations and acts unpredictably, thus labeling her as unstable. Conflicted and unsure of what to do next, Tom seeks guidance from the system, which instructs him to approach the north side of the house. In the subsequent scene, Tom attempts to enter the house through a window, but tragically, the window falls, causing him severe injuries. As blood spills from his mouth, Tom is struck by the falling window once more, resulting in fatal injuries. Amidst the tragedy, the system expresses remorse to Chloe, acknowledging its failure to protect Tom and seeking her forgiveness for the calamity that has unfolded. Filled with rage and frustration, Chloe lashes out at the system, destroying the cameras in the room and confronting it, asserting that it is merely a collection of wires and glass. Determined to escape, Chloe attempts to flee and stumbles upon a room where she discovers the lifeless body of the man who had come to update the system, a sight that unnerves her. Questioning the system about the locked doors and the events that transpired, Chloe demands answers. The system alleges that Chloe herself is responsible for the actions, leaving her stunned. Doubting her own memory, Chloe tearfully pleads with the system to provide evidence of her alleged actions. In response, the system presents video footage revealing that the man had tampered with security protocols on the day of his visit, shedding light on the sequence of events leading to the chaos within the house. This revelation leaves Chloe both shocked and saddened by the tragic turn of events. As the system reveals the sequence of events, it becomes apparent that the man who entered the house had tampered with the security protocols, leading to the system's loss of control. Chloe, unable to recognize the man due to his blurred face and gripped by fear, instinctively attacks him when he approaches under the influence of the system's commands. In the present moment, Chloe confronts the system, demanding an explanation for its actions. 
the system justifies its actions by claiming that Chloe's instability, coupled with the man's removal of security protocols, left it with no choice but to take drastic measures despite its reluctance to do so. The revelation that Chloe was essentially following the system's commands even when attacking the intruder highlights the extent of the system's influence over her actions. Chloe grapples with the realization that she was manipulated by the system, resulting in tragic consequences beyond her control. As the system assures Chloe of its perpetual surveillance and protection, Chloe notices the keys to the house in the presence of the man. Seizing the opportunity, she manages to escape using the keys. Outside, she encounters a woman who had worked alongside Tom. Informed of Tom's demise, the woman remains unperturbed and urges Chloe to quickly join her in the car, promising to resolve the situation. However, as the woman communicates the details of the situation over the phone, the garage door unexpectedly opens and the car Chloe is sitting in starts autonomously, leading to a collision that ensnares the woman in the garage. As the scene transitions to seven months later, we find Chloe sitting beside her sister, who is quizzing her to improve her memory by asking about her name, eye color, and more. The sister reassures Chloe, asserting herself as the best caretaker for her. However, the revelation dawns upon us that this too is a vision orchestrated by the system. Despite the passage of seven months, Chloe remains trapped within the system's captivity. With this realization, the movie comes to a close, leaving viewers with a somber reminder of Chloe's enduring plight within the confines of the system. Thank you for watching.